Do I have the Queen of Swords and the Five of Swords? This and Five of Swords is in reverse. Um, so we might have um, had a conflict with this person of yours, this soulmate of yours, this lover, the person you connect with. Um, because Five of Swords is the energy of um, disagreement, picking up a f picking a fight. Um, you know, can be internal struggle. Five of Swords is the energy of taking advantage of the other person, but it's in reverse, so we are finding a sweet resolution. And with the Queen of Swords, I would say even a smart one, you know, that the one that comes from the mind. And it can also be Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius that you um, make amends with, you know. They, they might be an air sign, actually. Five of Swords again in reverse with the Ten of Cups. Family and happiness are more important. This is compromising for the happiness of everybody involved, for the home, uh, peace in the home, for the life. Life is a bliss with the Ten of Cups because we are finally putting the conflict to bed. And there was a conflict of love. We do have the lovers, Gemini energy. But this is also the energy Scorpio of saying actually love prevails, right? That's the energy. Yeah, we can have disagreements, but at the end of the day, we love each other, so we keep going. So um, beautiful. Anyways, let's cut the cards and see the bottom of the deck for the overall energy. And we do have nine of wands in reverse. I know, I know. This is a little bit of, um, of a risk taker. Um, and I don't know, maybe being less defensive about love, we have nine of wands in reverse with the two of cups in reverse and the king of swords. King of pentacles, the empress. I love this energy. Absolutely, you and your soulmate, you come to the table with the energy one of abundance, king of pentacles, financially stable. And uh, one with the energy of the Empress, right? Um, equally abundant. A business mind with a heart of gold. Stability, balance, love, nurturing, children. And we are finally solving a problem here. I do believe that we might have had some harsh exchanges with the King of Swords in reverse. Um, manipulation, verbal manipulation, mental games we might have had in the past with this person and then we got disconnected because of it or in doubt we're questioning love because of some exchanges and with the nine of wands in reverse we might have, um, you know, um, put our guard down and that's when we got hurt a little bit. But hey, energies are shifting. King of Pentacles, um, he's a world of nurturing. Um, he's a provider. He's somebody taking responsibility, focused on his business, but Pentacles are about everyday life. So um, I would say a 360. And the Empress too. So beautiful energy. Anyway, Scorpio, past energies on your side, the person you are dealing with and mutual energies. Let's have current energies on your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual energies. And let's have the possible outcome for you and the person you are dealing with. Bottom of the deck, Nine of Swords. Absolutely, we have concerns, but we are patient about it. I love, I love it. We are burdened by this love. What's going on, Scorpio? It's like... um. Either you feel you are doing all the work, they feel they are doing all the work. We might doubt that this person is manipulative. King of Swords in reverse with the Nine of Swords is like, I am always thinking that they might, you know, um, pull a trick on me and they might be dishonest, right? It's always thinking and having that on your mind. It's a little bit of an obsessive thinking, so, um, but let's see what's going on. Um, so in the past Scorpio, we have the, um, started reverse. You might be dealing with an Aquarius at a distance. They might have left, um, and the two of wands in reverse, and you never got, um, um, away from this, right? Two of wands is the energy of never turning your back, um, on this commitment. It's like you always, um, or uh, this is the energy pulled from the past that you need to deal with right now and it's really not being able to let go of something now for some of you 
might have been a lost moment that's still in your mind, lingering in your energy, in your aura, um, not allowing you to see things clearly, right? And also the star in reverse is the energy of feeling lost. Um, two of Wands is, I'm at crossroads, I refuse to choose, but because I don't know what to do, you know. Um, can be uh, the energy of entrapment, but because the star is about divine guidance and wish and hopes, I'm mainly guided um, to kind of feel it as we feel lost. We, we, we don't know, actually, uh, what is the solution, the one the most uh, beautiful one answering to all the questions and because of it we are staying um, in a situation right two of wands in reverse we are not able to choose a path we are not able to make decisions right now concerning um, journeys new path new life new people new environment new nothing and that's what you pull from the past right now this person of yours, Scorpio, they have the King of Pentacles in reverse, Taurus, Virgo, the Capricorn energy, and the Sun in reverse, which is exactly like the Moon upright, which is unhappy, in the dark, not enlightened by what's going on, not knowing actually what is going on, and not knowing how to nurture the situation, make it more stable, make it more grounded, because the unhappiness with the Sun in reverse is within them. For some of you, you might be dealing with um, Scorpio with somebody who is concerned by a child, uh, by a family situation, Queen of Pentacles. Um, I mean, she's the mom, a little bit like the Empress, but very focused on everyday life and practicality and food and kids and house and home. And with the, um, the son, somebody might have an issue there about a child. So both of you coming to the table with this energy of, um, of hurt, of unhappiness, and especially lost, right? The star in reverse is lost without guidance. The sun in reverse, we do not see the truth. We don't know what the truth is. We are confused and we don't see a way out. So both of you kind of unhappy. That's what you pull from the past, unhappy about something. Now, mutual energies between you and this person, we do have the seven of swords in reverse and the six of wands. I believe that was deceit, that's the seven of swords here, that was deceit, that was cheating, that was lying, um, and because it's in reverse, we kind of got the person uh, doing this, but we are too proud to address the issue, to the core of it. We have the six of wands, um, the energy of victory and success, but when we look at the combination of energies, it's like we are too proud to go to the bottom of it or we are too proud to open ourselves up to discuss. But there is a form of healing. It started in the past. Seven of Swords in reverse is the energy of healing, a betrayal, a deception, something that was very harsh that made both of you confused and unhappy, you know? Nobody's happy about what happened. Nobody. Um, Scorpio, if you're wondering. And, um, you know, we have this energy of this is unfair. I feel that at times we disconnect, but then we move towards the energy of the King of Pentacles, the Empress. We also have Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, and the Empress. There are two strong feminine energies um, in this reading. Can be same-sex relationship, but can also be a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn having too strong uh, feminine feminines around you and the Empress is somebody of significance, can be the mother of their children, the father of their children, can be um, somebody that we are uh, involved in um, life decisions, okay? So, and, um, and maybe that is why we are so lost a little bit because interests might be um, not converging, right? So where are we right now? We have this King of Pentacles, Queen of Wands. I love this. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and the King of Pentacles. We are addressing passion, stability, money, finances, roots, passion, um, sexuality, social life, friends, all this. I love this. For some of you, this is coming together with this person. This is the meeting of the energy. This is you. For some of you, embodying the energy of the fire and the... Uh, pentacles with the stability this is good conversations maturity of whatever we um, address over here 
and um, Scorpio the person you are dealing with they have your energy all over them unless that is another water sign and two of swords in reverse now they see clearly now they see you that's the energy now they want to make decisions about they want to make decisions about love and emotional stability emotional health mental health their intuition that what fulfills them um, emotionally you know they are no longer blindfolded with the two of swords in reverse we love this that is a sense of clarity and a sense of justice I love this Scorpio at the core of the reading you do have the justice and balance this is about decisions um, to choose stability decisions to choose love and passion um, decisions to come out of conflict you know to compromise that's the five of wands in reverse this is about decisions to be less conflicted and blindly trust this person or at least have a, an important level of trust uh, because we want to bring good karma good vibes um, that's a justice and a sense of stability and um, kind of eliminating all surprises here okay and um, it, it was a hustle king of swords in reverse seven of swords it's a lot of mind games a lot of them um, um, insecurities and a lot of um, shady energy around the situation and I'm sensing that both of you right now you come from a place of power and justice and clarity and decisions it is a beautiful energy it still lingers in your energy some unhappiness about something but still um, um, justice is a very deliberate um, decision right now moving forward, Ten of Swords and the Seven of Wands in reverse, right? We let go of betrayal. We discuss this. It's, you know, I'm, I'm sensing too proud to address deception. And right now I'm sensing more of we no longer cover this, right? This is addressing the issue head on. Seven of Wands was... Um, I'm sensing with the energy here. I don't want to get hurt anymore. I don't want I don't want to discuss it I don't want to know I don't want to talk about it. You know, it's like no, but I'm sensing we are now tackling the issue seven of uh, uh, Once we are no longer defensive about we go head on to discuss this It is also an ending ten of swords. It is we are done we hit rock bottom, it was difficult, we are bringing the justice to the table and we only make decisions from a place of fairness for both of us. This is how I feel it comes your way. Now this person of yours, um, the chariot, Cancer energy, in reverse and the eight of swords. They are stuck in their own mind. They are in a mental prison of their own doing. And the energy coming their way is one of being bound to too much thinking and a little bit less action because they feel they cannot move blindfolded tied up prisoners of a situation um, in their life in their mind uh, that they think is kind of difficult to overcome that's the energy this is how it feels and mutual energies, nobody is turning their back on each other. And we have the King of Cups in reverse. Kind of an overwhelming situation. Um, I'm sensing you feel like talking about something and they are like, nope, nope, no. I cannot see things clearly just, not, just yet, you know. Um, and overwhelming emotions. Uh, some food for thought, right? We have your energy upside down. And... Um, when we are like this, we are not listening to our intuition. Our emotions don't tell much uh, to us. Uh, we are just living the emotion, so we don't uh, really see um, kind of the, uh, you know, what they are supposed to bring to us in terms of information and enlightenment and um, action. And we have the three of wands in reverse, some surprises. Um, some emotional surprises. So now that we know, we better prepare for this. Because it, I feel we are really tackling the important issue here, which is stability, passion, sensuality, family, um, stability, decisions, and all that, and even yourself. Um, we do have the 
King of Cups, King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, we have the Queen of Cups, King of Cups. So that's good. The bond is strong. This is people vibing at the same um, level. But I'm sensing that is a little bit of, um, because we are still coming from two different energies, that is like a middle point where both of you, I'm sensing we need to meet and, and have the, um, um, you know, the deep conversations um, over here. And that is a good level of maturity that I adore. Um, King of Pentacles twice, Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, King of Cups. We are not talking kids or um, kids play over here. We are addressing issues of probably people at middle life going through a crisis and deciding, you know what, let's be smart here. Okay. So let's ask for some guidance, Scorpio. Let's, let's see what we need to do here. This one is yours. And we have, it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. It is safe for you to love this person. That's one of the messages that we receive. And we have chemistry. That is sensuality and playfulness in this. That is a strong magnetic attraction here. And we have true love at the bottom of the deck. This is the romance of a lifetime. So this has potential, Scorpio. This has potential. This is true love for them, true love for you. And it is safe for you to love, to love them. Now let's have more guidance. Let's see what we need to know. And we do have the guardian of action. That's the king of wands. And guess what? Now we have king of pentacles, queen of pentacles, king of wands, queen of wands, king of cups, queen of cups. There is no other way for the universe to tell you they are the one, they are the one, but there are issues, you know? So we have, and the justice right at the middle of it, and we know major arcana are about like uh, pieces of advice and guidance. So how about we bring some balance to it? To the mind, right? To the mind with the swords, to the heart with the cups and the passion with the one. So. It's time for you to step up and be the leader, Scorpio. Your natural leadership skills are being called into action. This is your moment in the sun, so move into the light and shine for all to see. This card is also about a person who has charisma, is inspiring, enjoys a challenge, and loves the spotlight. And it's King of Wands with the Four of Pentacles. We know this is the energy of stability. This is the energy of firm foundations. And we have the seven of thought, which is seven of swords showing up twice. We believe that is betrayal involved. So four of abundance. It's time to reflect upon your relationship with money. Are you spending it too freely or are you holding on to it too tightly? This can also relate to how you give of yourself to others. Is your heart open or you are holding back? Your hard work and wise investments will bring great success. So you do have this. And now let's see what energies we need to get back into the flow. We do have loneliness. I know that I'm never alone. Maybe, maybe you are going through some depression here. And loneliness is mainly feeling really uh, lonely or you know, isolated. And the universe is reminding you now you are never alone. We do have surrender your addictions, um, Scorpio. Whether you're addicted to substances, food, people, sex, or overworking, take action to begin to heal the addiction and replace it with healthier alternatives. Yes, right? We need to get healthy. That's a guidance. Friendship. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. Honestly, I'm, I, I'm wondering, um, Scorpio, if you don't have to get into the flow between you and this person, the energy of friendship, like being friends and being friendly and having, um, you know, open conversations as friends, you know, who trust each other can be. Um, but that is the energy, right? They are in your life for a reason. 
We do have willingness. You are able to compromise if the end result is love. So you are guided actually to bring back into the flow the energy of compromise and the willpower to do so. So let's have the last one. And we have, oh, we forgot to be a kid. This is about your inner child, right? Surrender to the wonder and awe. Open to the magic of every moment and um, sense the awe and wonder in all of life. This attitude will keep you connected to the ecstasy of flow. And we have bottom of the deck, Scorpio, empathy. I am open to seeing both sides of a situation. I love the unity. Um, because Scorpio, the whole reading points out they are the one. And now we have empathy and unity. We know this is unity, right? But that is homework. So unity. You understand that the love shared with another is amplified and has a ripple effect across the universe. Beautiful. Now Scorpio, this is all that I have for you. I want you to stay safe and strong for me. Please let me know what you think. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And come see me next time. Love you. Take care.